we're going to find a rule, a mathematical sentence that describes the number of matchsticks used to make each of these patterns. So in this pattern here, this is the first pattern, we've got four matchsticks. In the second one here, we've got some more. Um, so the first step is actually to write down next to each pattern what pattern number we're up to, because that makes it a bit easier, because we're going to use this pattern number as the basis of our rules. So the first pattern is when n equals 1. We use n to, to say which pattern we're up to. So when n equals 1, we're on the first pattern. When n equals 2, we're on the second pattern. When n equals 3, we're on the third pattern, and so on, and so on, and so on. We go up to n equals 8, because that's all the space I've got to put these matchstick patterns on the page, really. And, but you can keep going on and on and on. And that's the idea of the pattern, is that we'll be able to use the pattern rather than having to draw or actually make the pattern if you wanted to go up to 450 matches for some reason. So the next step is to write down the number of matchsticks used. So the first one, we've got four matchsticks. And it's easier if we show all the patterns here. The second one, we've got 10 matchsticks. You've got the original four, plus you've got six extra. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it really it only takes three matches, three extra matches, to make one more box, because you've already got this box here, this match here. And so two extra boxes takes six matches. And so the third pattern, we've got the original 10 plus another six. The original 10 plus another, or the original 16 plus another 6. So that's the next step is to write down the rule. Starting with four matchsticks, the number of matchsticks goes up by 6 for each following diagram. So and that happens for all of the patterns that we've got. So next thing we're going to do is put all that information into a table because it makes it a bit clearer. And so we've got matchstick diagram number up here, diagram number is 1, and the matchsticks used in the next line. So in the second diagram we've got 10 matches, diagram 2 we've got 10 matches, diagram 3 we've got 16, diagram 4 we've got 22, diagram 5 we've got 28, etc, etc, etc. And then comes the tricky part. We have to look at the pattern and work out what's going on. How are we going to change this into maths? So the thing to do is to look here and you see that each time we go across in the pattern, we're adding 6. All right? And the mathematical way of thinking about adding 6 is to say, well, instead of getting 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6, you multiply. So here we've got, uh, we're on the 8th pattern. We've had to add 7 lots of 6. So you take the pattern number is 8, and you subtract 1, and you get 7. And that's how many groups of 6 we've had to add to our original 4 to get this 46. So you write that down. M, the number of matches, is equal to 4, the original 4, plus 6 times the pattern number minus 1. It's quite a complicated little mathematical expression. But not so bad when you break it down into steps. This 6 by n minus 1 is, in, in this case, we've got uh, n is 8, so we've got 7 of these 6s here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and that's where we get this expression here. And we can simplify that a bit more. So we, we say it's 4 plus 6 lots of n minus 6, and then you can move that minus 6, you can add these things up in any order you like. So we've got 4 minus 6 plus 6n, and that is minus 2 plus 6n. And normally it's fashionable in mathematics to write things with negative signs after the things with the positive signs. So we're writing, we're just changing the order. 6n minus 2 is the same as minus 2 plus 6n. And so that is the general rule for the number of matches in the pattern. And you can go back and check it out. So these numbers here are basically the 6 times table with 2 subtracted. So 1 lot of 6 is 6, minus 2 is 4, 
2 lots of 6 is 12, minus 2 is 10, 3 lots of 6, 3 lots of 6 is 18, minus 2 is 16, 4, etc, etc. So you can see that the rule works for each of the patterns that we've drawn. Checking them one at a time. And so there we've taken a reasonably complicated pattern and we've reduced it into one line. Number of matchsticks is 6n 